you, you cannot get this. You cannot, you know, like you cannot get this if you have. Do you need me to leave the room? No, no, no. <laughs> What's up, Bass and Bass? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it 100 for you right now, sis. I'm gonna keep it 100. I was doing a mukbang, and you know, I was talking too much. I was talking too much, y'all. So I decided to cut the video in half. I put half on the food channel, and I'm bringing the other half to this channel. So that's what this is. <laughs> so before I get into my continued <laughs> discussions, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me your opinion in the description box below because that's what this is about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, boo? I don't know what I was talking about. A little bit of everything. Cause you know I got the talking problem. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Just hit that thumbs up for your girl. You know it's free. You know it's free. Just hit that thumbs up real quick. Go back out. Go, 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 go back out. Hit that thumbs up. Because this is a continued video. Me right in my mouth. It's good stuff, though. You don't want to miss out. But for me, I feel as though my mother named me perfectly. Because I feel as though I've had to live my life with joy. So I say I am Joy, capital J, and Joy. <laughs> That's how I feel. I'm both. My name and, and the verb. <laughs> so I feel as though, or adjective. Depending on how you use it. And I feel as though it's part of my divine makeup and duty to spread my joy wherever I go. And typically I do. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I have my moments where I go cuckoo and I could get upset and I could get angry. I do have my moments, but those are few and far between and I have to really be provoked. But I would say 95% of the time, I am joy. So I'm just saying, just try to spread some joy, spread some kindness, spread some love. Because you never know what people are going through. Um, if you have it in your heart, if you're a troll and you're a negative person, just try to think how your actions and your words may affect someone else's day, their feeling, or make them want to do harm to themselves. You just know, that's why I like bullying. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Even sarcasm, I don't, I don't really like because it's always at the expense of someone else's feelings. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, I'm silly and I joke around a lot, um, but I'm always concerned about how my my actions come across to someone else. And most, most of you know when I'm joking. You guys kind of know that. And if not, I'm sorry. And you know, I don't mean anything. And I'm really, really a silly person most of the time. So even when I'm trying to act like I'm mad, I'm really not mad. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just hope that she's okay. She gets the help that she needs if indeed that is the case. And I just challenge you. I know we can't smile at people because we're always wearing masks. But if you're walking in the street and you're not in a building or something like that or a store, you don't always have a mask and you could just smile at somebody. And it doesn't cost you anything to spread your love and your joy that way. You know, oh, it just makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's just like I just want to love everybody. It does. Oh, and before I go, um, I don't know how many subscribers I have on here. Not many compared to some other successful channels, but I'm not interested in the drama. I, I can't, you know, I don't have the fancy camera and the fancy mics. But what I do want to say is thank you to the people who are active because, you know, there may be a certain number of subscribers, but not everyone is active. And I just want to say thank you. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm emotional. You know, I do have my period, so maybe that's it, okay? But I do. I want to say thank you for the people who do support me on all three of my channels. My main channel, Only in Basil's World. My educational channel, when I do upload to that channel. I want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for always loving me and your positive comments. I do not. I know other 
um, YouTubers, they don't care if they're negative comments and the trolls. I don't let those, you know, look, I got a job. I would love to make a living off of YouTube. That is a dream of mine. But until then, I am making videos for you, the people who support me. And, um, excuse me, honestly, and my children. So I hope that once I'm gone, we're all gonna go someday, but once I'm gone, that my kids can look back and on their grandchildren, they can look back on some of these things. Maybe there's a lesson that they can learn from it or something I can say, no, let's not do it like mom. So, you know, it keeps me going and some of the positive comments, it, they really do keep me going. Um, a lot of you have embraced me and my children and have helped me and my children. So I really believe with all my heart that it does take a village to raise children. And um, I think I, I'm going on three years. So I'm going on three years. I think October, October will be three years on my main channel and two years on this channel. But it does take a village and, I, and I'm appreciative of you guys stepping in where the dad hasn't been there. Um, to help me with my kids, especially Christmas, their birthdays and stuff. I am very appreciative of that because being a single mom is not easy. You know, and thank God I do have pretty good kids, but being a single mom financially and where I've chosen to sacrifice to live um, has not been easy. So I do appreciate you guys who pick up the slack Christmas time, birthdays and stuff like that. I was like, Cindy, I could give you a few dollars. That, that's all I got because my daughter's birthday's kind of, that, that's all, that's, and I'll make you a cake. <laughs> you know, plus that stresses me out and see, still I go run in my mouth. But it stresses me out. Some, somebody, get, if you talk too much, then click, click off. You know I can't curse. Then click off. We'll just hang around for the conversation, okay? So, um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> so, I'm just like, you know, thankful to all of you. And I just want to say thank you. And I do appreciate everything because I don't know how I would have made it. You know, at least bringing that joy to the kids where I knew I couldn't. Like with things, you know, and sometimes with your comments and your inspiration. And you're like, you're a great mom. Because sometimes I'm like, Whoa. but honey, let me tell you real quick. Oh my God. Whoa. But let me tell you real quick. I was watching another video and I wanted to do a little clip. And this little girl was going off. Well, the mother was going off on the daughter because the daughter was on live drinking and getting high. And the mother was going, she was like, you know, I give you everything. I do everything for you. I don't deserve this. I've told you about this. You don't know what you're smoking. You don't know this. And the mother was going off, you know, because like I said this before in another video, she knows what she put into that child. She didn't teach that child that. But I believe at a certain age, a child is going to do what they want to do regardless. No matter what you've instilled in that child. Some will still walk along that straight and narrow path. They will. And then some is going to veer off to the side. They may come back to the straight and narrow. They're just going through that teen phase or whatever. You know, a lot of people come back. A lot of teens come back. Not everybody, okay? Not everybody. But you can hear the pain in that mother's voice. How much she put into that child. And this is not what I taught you. And then she's on live. The mother lost it. The mother lost it. And it was kind of a similar situation with my son. Similar situation. And I, I there was a time or two where I lost it. You know, I, I don't hit my kids. You, you, you spare the rod, spoil the child. I don't hit my, I don't hit my kids. It's, it, it's just not for me. You know, I'm a domestic abuse survivor. My mother, um, I think I got one smack from my mother. It wasn't a good day for her. <laughs> um, one day I was playing with fire. I got a spanking for that. And one day she just wasn't in the mood. So two times my mom hit me when I was like less than eight. So my mom didn't, didn't, didn't spank me. I was a good kid anyway, so I, I didn't grow up being spanked. Not that it has anything to do with anything, so I didn't really spank my kids. Clint got a few pow pals. Clinton, Sydney, I don't think Sydney ever got a spanking. Bobby may have gotten one. I think she got one spanking. But so, when they were like little, little, you know, doing something that's dangerous or something, one time Clinton climbed over the fence, child. 
so anyway my point is is that no matter what we do for our kids you just never know where they're gonna go and i feel as though 14 15 16 they know right from wrong they know your mom or your dad is going to approve or not approve of what they're doing they know um they know so i just have to knock on wood clinton will find his way i'll do a separate video on him one day and the girls i took the girls to the doc okay anyway if you're still here, so I took the girls to the doctor, right? I don't know, maybe I'll put this on my other channel. <laughs> I took the girls to the doctor. We all went to the doctor. So when I was like, <laughs> you know, and I, I didn't know, I really, I didn't know. So I was like, doc, at what point do a girl get a girly checkup? And she was like, well, not until they are sexually active or 18 is what she said. But if they're sexually active, they should get a checkup. <laughs> Or if not, typically 18. What was 21? Did she say something about 21? Maybe 18 or 21, it's something like that. But definitely after 18. And then I said, well, Bobby, and I said the same thing to both girls. They had separate appointments. Do you need me to leave the room so you can talk to the doctor in private? <laughs> and it was like, no, mom. No! And I was like, because this is important, okay? It's important. If you need me to leave the room, I don't mind. Y'all can have it. And the doctor's like, yes. Um, you know, do, would you like her to leave the room? And he was like, no, mom. No. And Cindy was like, I haven't even had my first kiss. No, mom. I was like, mm-hmm. I said, you need to wait to marriage. Marriage. And she was like, that's my, that's my plan. <laughs> So, you know, we were in the doctor, and I said, I don't mind leaving the room. If there's something you want to discuss, you can discuss it with the doctor. This is your chance. And another reason I've decided, and I held off, I have one daughter. She's going to be 16 on Monday. So, happy birthday, Sydney. And then my other daughter, she's going to be 18 in February. Both great girls. And, um... I held off I, I just heard negative things about you may have other ideas about the HPV vaccination so I broke down and I let them get it and she said and the doctor said you know if you're sexually active you know I can't give you the vaccination or whatever she said you know we try to do it before you're sexually active and I said girls we can't get this if you are if you need me to leave the room because this is a serious this is serious. We cannot get you the HPV, you know, vaccination. I don't know why I held off. Don't ask me. I don't do everything right as a parent. And some of you may feel as though, no, don't do that. They, they got it. And they, and, and they do it in three stages. So they got the first shot um, last week. And then they go back in September. And then they go back in January for the third so it's so already, if you're not a fan of it, that's fine. Um, and so I was like, girls, you cannot get, you cannot, you know, I'm like, you cannot get this if you have. Do you need me to leave the room? No, mom, no. <laughs> so, um, so they, they got the shot. So the girls are still intact because <laughs> I said, no, this is dangerous. You can't if you have. And so, um, so they did get that. So I just tell my girls that this is just a conversation I have. It may not be right. It may not be the correct one. Or you may say something different. I just tell them and I drill in them. You need to wait until you marry. I said, these boys, they're going to run up into this girl, that girl. You've given a part of your soul to someone. And next week or next month, they with someone else. And you don't gave them such a special gift. So you need to wait until you're married wait until you're married not that the marriage is always going to work because they always don't work but at least that's your husband you know what i'm saying so i was like you need to save yourself because that is the most special and precious gift that you can give someone and i was don't judge me okay and i was like besides it hurts <laughs> it's painful okay don't judge me okay that's what i said okay I said, so you need to wait for your husband. And it is wonderful being a virgin.
you know, just don't do it. That's what, then this is what I've been telling my girls. Maybe you don't agree and that's okay. We have to agree to disagree, but that's what I tell my girls and knock on wood. I feel as though, let, let the sister make it to 18. Let, let the kids make it to 18. At 18, legally you are grown. That's how I feel, 18, let's get you through high school, get you in college, you grown. So, I could be wrong, I don't do everything right, but that's what I've been doing as a mom. They've been at the doctor's office and they, and I said, you can't have this shot because it'll be dangerous. You know, uh-uh. And they was like, no, mom, no. <laughs> so, I don't know, they're such wonderful, wonderful girls. They're, they're wonderful like I think I've been blessed with teens that haven't been disrespectful um, They haven't been rude. They don't curse in front of me. They would never talk back to me You know, we'll have an exchange or whatever, but never like oh, I can't stand you. I hate you mm -mm. I already had a, um, a video about this my kids come out. They hate me Baby those are fight words. You hate who? Uh uh, they, those words, that's just like calling me the B word. You can never say that to me as a mother. Mm -mm. Maybe it works for you and your family, whatever. No judgment here. There are some teens that I hate you. You know, that, that's what they do. But for me, mm -mm. you think I would say that to my mother? Mm -mm. Not on this planet, honey. Never. I couldn't imagine saying I hate. That's like, for me, that's like curse words. Like you cursing your mother out. I can never, I would never, I would never. Let me tell you, all the sacrifices I made for my kids, all three. Ooh, you, and if you gonna say, you better say it where I can never ever hear it. You hate, baby. Mm -mm, that, made my, that just making me mad just thinking about it, y'all. Anyway, let me get out of here. I don't talk to y'all to death. Y'all y'all don't probably click. You know, I'll probably just put this on my other channel. But baby, could you imagine? Well, I don't know. Some some parents deal with that. I couldn't even imagine my kids saying that to me. That's like the ultimate curse out. I feel as though you saying you hate me, you don't need to be up in my house at all. What are your thoughts on that? Leave it in the comment section below. But I know there are some teens that say it. I've been around a teen or two who said it to their parent. I'm like, <gasps> you know, you know, oh my God, that just makes my chest hurt. No, oh, let me drink to that. <clears throat> baby, make sure you get your coldest water in the description box below, baby. Oh my God. But once again, I know I don't talk y'all to death. I still got, other, oh my God. I was supposed to do a clean with me. My room is a mess, y'all. I can't even do the clean with me. I'm gonna have to sleep on the corner of my bed. My bedroom is a mess. I was like, mm -mm, I'm gonna do a clean with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna clean my room. Child, I done done everything today. Done cooked, done did hair. Went to the grocery store, went shopping, ran errands. Room still a disaster. Baby. One day at a time, Joy. One day at a time. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Let's send prayers up for Tamar Braxton. Oh, that poor baby. That poor baby. And she could sing. That's what. See, here I go again. Child, that's one thing I wished I could do was sing. And I can. It's like God teased me when he gave me some of my uh, creative crafty skills he's like mm, you're not gonna sing but i'm gonna give you a little bit a little bit of all these different talents but singing is not gonna be one of them the one thing we always want what we don't have have you noticed that just like some people with curly hair want straight hair people with straight hair want curly hair people with dark skin want light skin people with light skin want dark skin people with no booties want big booties people with little booties want big booties people with little boobs want big boobs people with big boobs want little boobs why well, we always want what we don't have i don't want no big booty y'all i got a little booty i don't want no big booty mm -mm, i like my little booty but uh and i when i was younger I wanted to straight hair. 
nah, I got my little braids. And I will tell you, the braids have grown on me. I didn't like the braids before. For me. For me on other people, yes, but for me. But I like my braids. I like the light color too, y'all. What y'all think? Yeah, sometimes I go lighter. See, I started out mostly with this color. And then I threw in lots of light color. It's grown on me. I like it. <laughs> And um, Bobby, so my other daughter, we did light color braids. We did this color on her. And she says, Mom, I can never go back. I'm never going back to black. I was like, you know what? I don't think I am either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so we like it. I, the braids have definitely grown on me. I'm glad I gave it a chance. So, but we always want what we don't have. But now I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with what I have. Mm -hmm just about <laughs> so all right guys I'm gonna get out of here thank you for hanging out with me and me running my mouth I probably um put this on two videos <laughs> so I did it again I didn't talk for like an hour I'm like maybe because I'm bored or I'm lonely or somebody nobody is here with me so I just got y'all to talk to me okay anyway guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share Click like, click share, okay? Until next time.